Dave Chappelle just got Chris Rocked on stage on a comedy performance at the Hollywood Bowl. <laughs> I am Mecca, and I'm clipping this one because I think I might have to trim it down or something. We just talked about Obi-Wan, and that's going to be live as the video probably completely. I am sick. I apologize. Bookmark this channel. YouTube should not be making you guys pick up the tab and support this channel with Super Chats and donations for Streamlabs when they should just be promoting my content. They shouldn't be shadow banning us, but... The following video is brought to you through the generous support of viewers like you. If you like this content, then please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. And for those who are in the position to donate, this channel thanks you. And so does this orange cat. But hey, I love you guys. I appreciate, I really, really appreciate everybody. And seriously, YouTube, get your act together. Now, this will probably be monetized anyway because we're going to show the thing. This is on a Mr. Primetime TV talk. He'll probably copyright claim it. Three for about a second. Well, there's like a split second of it. Is Dave Chappelle canceled or not? Because for crying out loud, for crying out loud, Dave Chappelle, Dave Chappelle got Will Smith and Chris Rock at a, at a comedy show. He was performing at the Hollywood Bowl. Even Chris Rock made the joke. We're gonna probably have a clip of that or some footage of that. I don't even know how much of this I can show you, but you've already seen it. It's been the talk of the day and I have been sleeping late because I'm sick and I'm sorry, I'm sniffly. Dave Chappelle attacked on stage by an armed man while performing at LA's Hollywood Bowl. Now, is this just some armed Looney Tunes wackadoo, or is this some alt-left wackadoo trans activist person who wants to get back at Dave Chappelle because he said a joke that they don't like or agree with? Is that the case? Because we don't know for sure right now. I would assume, I'm going to assume, I'm going to jump to a lot of conclusions and say that Probably, probably people are still pretty triggered by Dave Chappelle. And you can judge for yourself. Calling out some of this activism and some of this crazy stuff. So. Hearing details, it's really uh, we don't care what uh, you have disturbing. To say. Do you have In Hollywood, the no. encounter we don't want to took place with his reported them wrapping up his set. He appeared to be uninjured and security. Somebody just. <laughs> did, they, did they just like slide into home? quickly apprehended. Right, ended his attempt. He was performing at the Netflix. Right, we don't care what you have to say, lady. We're, we'll provide our own commentary. Thank you very much. Performing at the at the Hollywood Bowl when some Looney Tunes guy ran up on stage. How'd he get up on stage? Goes up on stage. Boom. Okay. Well, we have another angle of that. We have a closer angle of that. History. <laughs> That's not funny. That's not funny. The sound was funny. The dong from the microphone. Oh, gosh. So that's what that is. I don't know how much we can see. Now, there's footage of the guy with his arm bent backwards getting in an ambulance. The guy who attacked Dave. All right. What does CBS say? The comedian Dave Chappelle was attacked on stage by an armed man Tuesday night as he performed at the Hollywood Bowl with videos from the audience members' cell phones quickly flooding social media and showing a man appear to run on stage and tackle the comic. The Los Angeles Police Department. Don't do that. Can we not attack? I mean, can we not? Like, it's a joke. You don't have to listen to him. Because guess what? The only people who have been actually harmed by quote unquote transphobic comments in the Dave Chappelle comedy is Dave Chappelle and his transgendered friend Daphne. Those are the only two people who have actually been harmed by any of the jokes he said now at this point. So yeah, was it staged? It might have been staged. So, so can we stop with this ideology and this idea that telling a joke is doing anything harmful is doing anything harmful because I hate to say this I'm gonna be the one to say this the activism in that community is really really starting to honk me off it's really really starting to be annoying it's like not only are you appropriating actual transgendered people's struggles by going around being offended on their behalf and many of these people aren't even transgendered who are who are super duper activisty these allies these people that makes me uncomfortable you're making it worse for transgendered people to be accepted in society. This is harming it, in my opinion. This is this is making it so that you get you get too many generalizations. And this is why I want to say these these activists, these activists, because the activists are not the transgender community. I want to make that super duper clear because I am in support of the transgender community as long as, you know, and, and here's the, here's the discussion we had yesterday. I don't want anybody to be marginalized. 
I don't want women to be marginalized. I don't want trans women to be marginalized. I don't want trans men to be marginalized. I don't want men to be marginalized. I identify as a basketball. All right. And if there's some sort of happy medium where we can all come together and sing kumbaya and accept everybody, great. I'm all for it. Until then, stop attacking people on stage. Now you're tone policing us. For crying out loud, Will Smith has set a terrible precedent. Where's the footage of the Chris Rock thing? I saw Chris Rock's footage. Is this worth freaking out over? So Chris Rock even jumps up to the stage and he's like, is that Will Smith? Do they have, a, they have footage of it in New York Post? Was that Will Smith? Was it staged? I hope not. I don't think so because the guy, like if you see the, if you see the guy's arm as they haul him off, it's twisted on halfway backwards and it's like they broke the guy's arm or dislocated his shoulder or something. So can we stop getting to the point of physical violence when we don't get our way or when something triggers us or something hurts somebody's feelings potentially anything that makes me uncomfortable should be illegal because literally the only person that dave chappelle's jokes have hurt have now been dave chappelle and and it wasn't even his jokes didn't even hurt daphne his accepting of daphne hurt her I'll go right on record and say it. He accepted Daphne and it hurt her that he accepted her and that her own community didn't. And she offed herself because she was not. And I'm speculating a lot by, based on what she, what she said, what he said, and how a lot of the people in this activist community do. These activists are out of control. Sean Russell, does Will Smith have an alibi? Yes. Well, they, well, they have the guy. They show him there. They show him uh, being wheeled off. Can we see it? Oh yeah, I was one of the first. I'm like, this is all Will Smith's fault. Was that Will Smith? It's all his fault. It's all Will Smith's fault. Damn it, we'll just blame him. It's all Will Smith's fault for being a petty person. <laughs> <sighs> what do you think else I missed? So, so I heard. Um, I've been hearing reports. Do they? Do they show? Seeing Dave get attacked by somebody from the audience and seeing the dude get dumped by jumped by Dave Chappelle and his crew gotta be the weirdest live show I've ever seen. Chris Rock even came on stage, embraced Dave, grabbed the mic, and said, Will, is that you? Uh, of course, Rock was poking fun at the slapper around the world of the Oscars. <laughs> Can we stop attacking comedians for crying out loud? Because guess what? Some of these comedians might attack you back. You ever think of that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, like if you see somebody like me out in public, you don't know what the crap I'm gonna do to you if, if you if you really want to tangle, right? You don't know how much training I've had. You don't know how crazy I am. Cause seriously, seriously, like sure, Dave Chappelle's sitting there up on stage, standing on stage telling his set, doing his set, and I, I heard that um, <clears throat> he was getting ready to tell a joke and talk about some of the backlash or something. Do they say, one man's beatdown is another man's joke. That slaps. Chris Rock turned the shocking Dave Chappelle on stage attack into a dunk on Will Smith's Oscars fiasco. <laughs> I don't know if I can even show you. I think you can. I think you can because I can show the Oscar slap. But I can't show you how, how he got like completely effed up afterwards. <laughs> Alright, so it says a 23-year-old man armed with a replica handgun that contained a knife blade was arrested and accused of assault with a deadly weapon. Yeah. Chappelle was not injured in the attack. Good. Thank you for not hurting him because usually that's what happens. Happens. These people are just throwing temper tantrums. They're, they're like the little kid flailing. You know, they're like, uh, 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 I'm going to hit you. And meanwhile, it's like, yeah, I'd lay out somebody who tried to swing at me like with the, with the, because that, that's what they do. It's like, it's like I imagine him. He's like, I'm coming at you. I'm going to attack you. I'm going to attack you. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad Dave's okay. And that's why I laughed, because I'd seen it a few times before and I knew Dave was okay afterwards. So, I mean, I'm not going to just laugh if somebody's actually hurt. Depending on the person, though, like if, you know, like this, like the guy who attacked him, it was kind of funny to see him all out, all f up. His art, like, so, well, look, I'm not going to put it in because I don't think YouTube will let me show you that part of it. But I mean, we can see the slap because nobody got hurt, right? You, you could really f somebody up with the base of a mic stand. Those are pretty darn heavy if you have one of the, you know, the old fashioned ones with like the big, heavy circular disc on the bottom, the ones that go straight up. Is that the kind of, that's usually the kind of mic comedians use on stage here. So he probably has one of those. <laughs> like if somebody just slaps you in the face even, like this guy, he's coming at you with a weapon. All right, you're gonna try and sidestep him and then judo fling him down or, or at least get him to the ground. <laughs> this guy wasn't a hit and run. And I think somebody saw, like they saw him enough to run up, like he was running up. I mean, Dave Chappelle attacked 
video. We saw that LAPD told CBS Los Angeles a 23-year-old man, blah, 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 blah. Chappelle's not injured in the attack. The uh, LAPD identified the suspect as Isaiah Lee of Los Angeles following the incident. He was transported to the hospital for medical treatment for injuries. Now, please, nobody go and find Isaiah Lee and do anything to hurt him because Isaiah Lee in Los Angeles is, is you know, within his rights to be protected from any backlash. So Isaiah Lee of Los Angeles probably, probably shouldn't be attacked or anything. The LAPD identified the suspect. We already saw that. Following the incident, he was transported to the hospital for medical treatment of injuries. Before being taken to the police station and arrested, Lee is being held on a $30,000 bail for charges of a felony assault with a deadly weapon. That's kind of low, isn't it? That's pretty low for somebody who literally tried to murder somebody. I mean, they say it's assault, but if it's a deadly weapon, that's attempted murder. That's attempted murder. So, you know, hopefully nobody's going to retaliate against Isaiah Lee of Los Angeles to go in and attack him back or anything. But let's see. Let's see. Let me guess. Let me guess. A whole bunch of activist groups are going to raise that money to get him out of jail quickly. Oh, there's his picture. Don't want to see it. We'll just flip right past that really quickly. <laughs> who would bail him out? I don't know. I don't know. Aren't they? Don't they? Don't the far, far crazy activisty people always take care of their own? Or is this just some random lunatic? Now, here's the speculation that it was uh, about the trans jokes. It was in retaliation to the trans jokes. I don't know. This might just be a complete Looney Tunes person who just is a racist who doesn't like black people, I guess. Or it could be somebody who, which, I mean, you never know. You don't know what ethnicity. I'm not going to assume his ethnicity. <laughs> Performances by Chappelle at the Hollywood Bowl are epic and record-breaking, and he refuses to allow last night's incident to overshadow the magic of this historic moment, Sim said. Well, do you think Dave Chappelle's just going to be starting to perform behind glass, though? You have to answer the question. I would be afraid of that. I'd be afraid of some loony pop, like, like, sniping me or something if I were, if I were doing that. <laughs> Chappelle, whose unapologetic humor has made him a lightning rod for criticism, appeared unscathed by the sudden interruption and later joked, Note, linked video contains harsh language including profanity. Why do I read that part? Fellow comedian actor Jamie Foxx on stage that he'd taken revenge on his attacker. <laughs> Videos posted to Twitter appear to show the person who charged Chappelle being detained outside the venue by police and then locked into an ambulance with visible injuries, witnesses said, and videos appeared to show that the man was set upon multiple people on stage after he attacked. Yeah, I, th I, I believe that. <laughs> All right, let's scroll through this. There they are. Because a lot of the times these videos get flagged too. These people on Twitter. They're like, oh, I copyrighted it. Yeah, but don't post it on Twitter then if you don't want us to use it. Oh, the entire debacle was captured in multiple videos shot by members of the audience. Cell phone use was officially banned during the performance. The motivation for the initial attack remained unclear. Chappelle's on stage performing as part of the Netflix is a Joke Comedy Festival sponsored by the streaming giant. We care deeply about the safety of our creators, and we strongly defend the rights of stand-up comedians to perform on stage without fear of violence. Yeah, yeah. Can we, can we not, can we not attack comedians on stage? Is Elon doing a job, job on Twitter? I don't know. <laughs> Netflix stood by the Washington, D.C. native and continued to air the special despite hundreds of its employees staging a walkout. That wasn't hundreds of its employees. That was like three or four employees and then some weird random crazy people who came through over what they deem to be transphobic jokes. Well, they need to get over it and realize that that is not transphobia. The transphobia would be attacking a transgendered person or telling them, make, making jokes about the individuals, not the activism, not the movement, not the groups, right? If, if you're sitting there saying that, that a specific trans person is something, that might be transphobic. But transphobia, they need to really, really realize what transphobia actually is. Because saying, hey... I'm all for trans trans people as long as women's rights are also not infringed on is not transphobic. Sorry, sorry, because there's room on the planet for both people. <laughs> the comic later said she'd be happy to meet with the transgender community who would not be swayed by any one's demands to censor his routine. And I think that's how we gotta fight this. <laughs> I am going back to my live chat. Don't you guys go anywhere. Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you wanna see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye! 
told a bad joke. 